Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video. Question, is Surface Book's battery a problem? And that uh, may not make a lot of sense right now, but what I'm about to explain is that there are two products coming out soon, at the end of October, from Microsoft. Uh, only one product in the UK. Come on, Microsoft! In the US, you'll actually be able to buy Surface Book as well. But something I've been wondering is which one is better? Surface Pro or Surface Book? Of course, you can't actually decide which product is better in general, but you can decide which one is better for you. And for me specifically, I do like to use the pen because I like to draw, I like to take notes, I like to brainstorm, mind map. There are a lot of things that I find that pen input is extremely good for. Like the whole Surface product series, I think is a wonderful, wonderful idea. However, when Surface Book came out, they decided that this excellent product which is basically a laptop that can also detach. You can also take the screen off and turn it into a tablet of sorts, they call it the clipboard. I thought that's a genius idea. Not only is it thinner than the Surface Pro 4, better in terms of graphical performance as well. The problem is, when you take it off the keyboard, what happens to the battery life? Microsoft was not very transli uh, translucent. <laughs> because Microsoft was not very transparent about the situation, I thought that the whole battery was inside the device. And he said, the only reason we didn't go thinner on Surface Pro 4 is because we wanted to give you USB-C on the side. Not so with Surface Book. Actually, yes, there's no ports on the Surface Book because they're all in the base, but what you may not have known is that the batteries are also in the base as well as the tablet itself. They're calling it the ultimate laptop because that is what it probably is. It is ultimate and it is a laptop. It is not a tablet because tablets you can expect to have only the tablet portion and have it run all day on the battery. They said 12 hours for the Surface Book and as I understand from what I've heard, three quarters of the battery are in the keyboard section of Surface Book and only a quarter of the battery is in the screen itself. Now they're predicting about 12 hours of battery life for the Surface Book which is phenomenal if it's true but as I've seen with most products, um, even, even Surface products, you're looking more like 9 to 10 hours if they say something like 12 hours. Who knows, it depends on your performance. You might not be watching videos the whole time, you might not be using Wi-Fi all the time, and you might not be using adjustable brightness, uh, you know, automatic adjustable brightness all the time. So these things can affect your battery, but what's important is that only a quarter of that battery is in the device itself. Is that a problem? Well, Basically, if you are an artist and you're like me, you like to lounge around on the on the sofa, I usually take the keyboard completely off and I'll put it uh, somewhere. I'll, hit, I'll put it over here for now. That is great for drawing because now it's an, a slightly lighter device. You've got all of the battery inside the device and if it's a Surface Pro 4, you can expect something like nine hours on just the device. It'll be nice and light. You obviously don't have the GPU performance, the extra performance provided by the GPU on the Surface Book. But that's fine, if you're doing 2D work, maybe that's no big deal. Even a little bit of 3D work, that's no problem. However, if you are using a Surface Book and you end up getting to the point where you've been drawing for maybe two hours, and I'm thinking two hours maximum, maybe two and a half hours if we're really gonna push it, but at most, at absolute most, you can only expect three hours to come from the screen portion of the Surface Book. So the question is when you're drawing, and you get to about two hours, which a lot of people spend more than two hours at a cafe. That is not unheard of. I think that's quite normal now to sit there at a cafe for, you know, a couple of hours. And also, the battery will just drain on its own. Why? Because it's a Surface product. These things are not perfect. Great idea, but the implementation is always flawed. There is always a spanner in the works with these products. What's going on with Surface Book? Well, after a couple hours, you'll run out of battery and then you will end up reaching for the keyboard, which is as heavy as the device. They're basically two products which are about 800 grams each. We're talking about one and a half kilos now, which is which is, you know, significantly more heavy than the Surface Pro 4. Now you're drawing on a device which is heavier, it's also, you know, it's also bigger, bigger can be good if you're drawing, 13 and a half inches, a wonderful screen size. But now you're holding this heavy device and also it's got a slight angle to it. With Surface Pro 4, at least it's flat, you hold it like this when you've only got the screen portion of the Surface Book, it's very similar. But then when you are holding the Surface Book with the keyboard, it's a little bit 
thicker. It's a bit like drawing on a folio. Do you want to be in a situation where you're like moving your leg so that you're balancing it so that the screen is flat but the device is not? And is that going to be a problem with it sliding off? If you've got a folio shaped device, which is how they're describing it I believe, um, you're, you know, it's more likely to slide off your leg. Again, this is all about artists, people who are drawing or taking notes. The Surface Book is going to lie flat on the table. There is no kickstand. If you're going to draw on it, the Surface Pro 3 has the multiple angle, you know, the infinite angle basically, kickstand which can go about this flat and that's perfect when you're drawing to have it just off the table like this. To do so on a Surface Book you would have to hold it backwards like so, so that the whole device was um, like this and the problem is that hinge, although it is strong, it is not really the right, uh, you know, it's not really strong enough to prevent the whole device from shaking. When people are drawing on it, the whole device tends to kind of shake because it's just not strong enough at this angle. Uh, nothing is really as sturdy as the actual Surface Pro kickstand, something that would come out like this, basically. That said, Surface Book is a significantly more powerful product in terms of um, graphical performance and also uh, actually, the battery will last longer as long as you're connected to the keyboard. So, is it a problem for you? Probably not for most people. Most people who are not Surface converts yet, who haven't bought a Surface Pro 3 already, might be looking at the Surface Book as a laptop which can also be a bit of a tablet sometimes, and that is going to be perfect for so many people. However, for people on Surface Pro 3, people on Surface Pro 2, Surface Pro 4 might actually be better for you. Why? Because you have that kickstand ready for for you when you need to take notes, when you need to draw, and all of the battery, all of it, even though it's not as much as the Surface Book, nine hours-ish, eight or nine hours of battery in that device, that is so convenient to not have to hold the keyboard on there, a much, much heavier product, probably as heavy as this Surface Pro 2, which is, now that I'm holding it, actually quite weighty. But what do you think? Is the battery going to be an issue for you? Having the battery in two separate places might actually be very, very good. Being able to have a device which is only about, I think it's like seven millimeters thick, the Surface Book, that's very, very thin, and with enough battery just to show people, maybe you just want to pass it around to your friends to play a quick game or something, that's going to be fine for most people. But I think if you're an artist, it's going to be a bother to be tethered to the keyboard all the time just because you need the battery power. So. It might, it might be a problem, might not be a problem. So which one's for you, Surface Book or Surface Pro 4? One has a uh, better battery life and greater graphical performance, but the battery is in two separate places. And so you're most likely going to always be carrying it around with both things attached to each other, which is a heavier device. Or would you like the Surface Pro 4, which doesn't have quite as good battery life and it doesn't have as good graphical performance, but the whole thing is contained in one unit. And that one unit is going to be lighter than carrying around the Surface this book. That could be perfect if you're drawing all the time and making notes, but then maybe if you need that extra power, you might have to go with the Surface Book. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, share the links and all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next Nihongo Gamer video. She's got magnets on her feet. First new Nintendo 3DS game. Final Fantasy 15. Ah! Someone pick up the phone. How about you, Cloud? It's shopping time! So I let her go in front of me, and she ran into the shop and she took the only copy of this, and I thought, yes. Here it comes! Oh. It's like the yes. anime, but better! It doesn't say what this is, it just, it just, it's just a piece of plastic. I, I really think, I think, I think maybe it, it is a frisbee.